السلام علیکم نائن پی ایم دس از ریڈیو پاکستان دی نیوز ریڈ بائی الینا تارک فرسٹ دی ہیڈ لائنز فورن منسٹر ہیز ارج دی انٹرنیشنل کمیونٹی ٹو ٹیک نوٹس آف ڈینجرس انڈین اسٹیپس وچ پوز سیریس تھریٹ ٹو ریجنل پیس Foreign Office has made it clear that there has been no change in the visa policy for residents of occupied Jammu and Kashmir. Leading U.S. Democratic presidential aspirants have supported Indian origin Congresswoman Pramila Jayapal who introduced a resolution on Kashmir. Turkish President says Pakistan is always a brotherly, sincere and cherished friend for Turkey. Organization of Islamic Corporation has called upon Brazil to reverse its decision of opening a commercial office in occupied Jerusalem. On the fourth day of cricket test against Pakistan at Karachi, Sri Lanka were 212 for 7 at stumps. And now the news in detail. Foreign Minister Shah Mahmood Qureshi has urged the international community to take notice of dangerous steps taken by the Indian government which are badly affecting peace in the region. In a statement, he said, all minorities, particularly Muslim in India, have been protesting against discriminatory citizenship act and their entire opposition is also protesting. The foreign minister said that he had informed UN Security Council about the apprehensions and possible threats in his letter on 12th of this month. He said India can resolve to a false flag operation to divert attention and unprovoked ceasefire violation along LOC is also continuing. The foreign minister said Pakistan has responded befittingly to unprovoked firing of Indian forces in which large caused casualties have been reported and their posts are also targeted. Special Assistant to the Prime Minister on Information and Broadcasting, Dr. Firdos Ashikawan, says controversial citizenship act has exposed so-called India's democratic and secular face. She was talking to media in Sialco today. She said that unprovoked firing of Indian forces from across the line of control is an attempt to divert world attention from the widespread protest demonstrators in the country. She said the increased violence against minorities in India validates the spirit of the two-nation theory of Qaeda-e-Azam Muhammad Ali Jinnah. Pirdos Ashikawan said that the entire Pakistani nation stands with the armed forces in defense of motherland. The Foreign Office has made it clear that there has been no change in the visa policy for residents of Indian-occupied Jammu and Kashmir. A statement issued today said that some reports which appeared in the section of media about changes in Pakistani visa for residents of Indian-occupied Kashmir are completely baseless and incorrect. It said Pakistan High Commission continues to issue visas to residents of occupied Kashmir in accordance with the visa policy of the government and related bilateral agreements between Pakistan and India. The Foreign Office said the High Commission is making all efforts to facilitate the genuine visa applications, particularly those from Indian occupied Kashmir. Azad Jammu and Kashmir Prime Minister Raja Farooq Haider Khan has directed all concerned departments to remain on high alert to deal with any untoward situation arising out of unprovoked Indian firing at line of control. In a statement issued from Saudi Arabia today, he directed the Disaster Management Authority and Administration of Azad Kashmir to immediately rescue Indian firing effectives beside providing them all possible assistance. Raja Farooq Haider Khan further directed the concerned departments to devise a comprehensive strategy in coordination with Pakistan Army to deal with any untoward situation. In occupied Kashmir, Chairman All Parties Hurriyat Conference Sayyid Ali Gilani has said that India's position regarding Jammu and Kashmir is merely that of an occupier and oppressor of which the UN resolutions remain an obvious proof. In a statement issued in Srinagar today, Sayyid Al-Nagai said that people of Kashmir had tried every possible way to secure their legitimate and internationally recognized right to self-determination. Meanwhile, the night temperatures across occupied Kashmir and Ladakh dropped to freezing levels amid gloomy situation as a result of military siege and lockdown continues to prevail in Kashmir Valley and parts of Jammu region on 140th consecutive day. In India, thousands of demonstrators, including students and women, have voted to keep up their fight until contentious citizenship amendment act is revoked. The death toll in protest has reached 23, 
mostly in the northern state of Uttar Pradesh, while more than 1,500 protesters have been arrested during the last 10 days. The new law is aimed at marginalizing India's 200 million Muslims and is part of Prime Minister Narendra Modi's Hindu nationalist agenda. This is Radio Pakistan. Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan says his country relations with Pakistan are based on sincerity and solidarity. Speaking at an award ceremony in Istanbul, he said Pakistan is always a brotherly country and a cherished friend for Turkey. The Turkish president said the heart-to-heart -heart Turkey-Pakistan brotherly ties would be further strengthened in days to come. Pakistani ships have arrived at South Africa port Simonstown under the country's naval diplomatic mission. According to the spokesperson of Pakistan Navy, the mission commander held important meetings with South African officials and discussed matters of mutual interest, including the promotion of maritime cooperation. He also apprised the South African authorities about Indian brutalities in occupied Kashmir and its disputed status as per UN resolutions. In Afghanistan, Independent Election Commission says incumbent President Ashraf Ghani is leading the preliminary results of presidential elections. Chairperson of Independent Election Commission, Hava Alam, told reporters in Kabul today that Ashraf Ghani secure, secured more than 51 person votes, while Abdullah Abdullah obtained over 39 person votes. Gulbadin Hikmatyar, leader of Hizbil Islami, has bagged only 3.85 percent of the votes. Polling for the presidential election was held in September. Organization of Islamic Corporation has condemned Brazil for its decision to open a commercial office in occupied Jerusalem. In a statement, the OIC said that such a measure contradicts the principle of international law and decisions of the UN Security Council. The OIC also called upon the Brazil to reverse this step, which would harm the relations and common interests between Brazil and the OIC member states. On the fourth day of the Karachi test against Pakistan, Sri Lanka in their second innings were 212 for seven at stumps. Earlier, Pakistan declared their second inning at 555 runs for the loss of three wickets. For Pakistan, Abid Ali scored 174 runs, Shan Masood 135, Skipper Azhar Ali 113, and Babar Azam remain unbeaten at 100 scores. The score, Pakistan 191 and 555 for three, Sri Lanka 271, and 212 for seven. Finally, the weather. Mainly dry weather is expected in most parts of the country during the next 24 hours. However, rain thunderstorm is expected at few places in Gilgit, Baltistan and Kashmir. And once again, the headlines. Foreign minister has urged the international community to take notice of dangerous steps, steps which pose serious threat to regional peace. Foreign Office has made it clear that there has been no change in the visa policy for residents of occupied Jammu and Kashmir. <music> President says Pakistan is always a brotherly, sincere and cherished friend for Turkey. <music> Organization of Islamic Corporation has called upon Brazil to reverse its decision of opening commercial office in occupied Jerusalem. On the fourth day of cricket test against Pakistan at Karachi, Sri Lanka were 212 for seven at stumps. And that is the end of the news. For more news and analyses, log on to our website radio.gov.pk.